everyone, welcome to Yu Fao Workshop. I'm Hong Hong. Last time we talked about how to do wet felting. There are so many techniques we should know before start to lay on the wool fiber. If you haven't checked that video yet, go and check uh, here or here or I put a link down below. After knowing the fundamental techniques, this time we're gonna learn more about wet felting. Do you have any experience that you put one wool object in washing machine and it shrank? Actually, my cousin who did it once, and her clothes became a kid's size. Why it happens like this? The reason is the shrinkage. This is an important subject that we need to understand how much it will shrink when we are doing wet felting. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how to calculate and how to make your own specimens. And in the future, you will know how much it will shrink and help you a lot in the future project. Okay, so let's dive in! When we are trying to make one object or a new project, then we need to know how much it will strain because we wanted to have that result as exactly as we want. But how do we know? The best way is making your own specimens. This is going to help you to completely understand how does it work and how much it will shrink later on. And here are four factors will affect the shrinkage. First, type of wool. There are so many kind of wool fiber, various sheep species, and wide range of fiber diameter. Not all the types will have same shrinkage. Therefore, why it is important to make your own specimens is necessary. Second, thickness influences the shrinkage. What does that mean? It means how much amount of wool you lay out there will be different. More grams you use in the same size, it shrinks less. On the other side, less wool you use, it will shrink more. Third, Number of layers. This is quite similar with last one, but what I want to point out here is this. Have you realized how many layers when you lay on horizontal and vertical direction? If you want to make a beautiful square shape, I would recommend you lay out even number of layers because wool fiber shrinks from its own step length. When the number is not even, it might turn out a rectangle shape. Fourth, what extra decoration or materials you add? When you add some extra materials such as fabric, yarn, or other things, it will affect its shrinkage as well. And it depends on how much you add and that material's shrinkage. If you don't know how it will work, better make some specimens before starting a new project as always. Before rinsing your specimens, make sure it is in the completely fooling stage and let it dry, then we can start to calculate the shrinkage rate. The formula is initial size minus result size divided by initial size multiply 100 percentage equals shrinkage. For example, my initial size is 8 inches times 8 inches equals 64 square inches. And the final result is 3 inches times 3 inches equals 9 square inches. So using this formula, 64 minus 9 divided by 64 multiply 100 percentage, my shrinkage is 86 percentage. It means 86 percentage has shrunk away, only 14 percentage remains. Then next time when I lay out one piece is 12 inches times 12 inches, then I can predict the final square might be 20 square inches. I hope this is not that difficult to understand for many reasons and the usage. I highly recommend you to make your own reference because these factors and everyone's physical strength are not the same. You might not be able to fulfill your specimens like I did. Look at this muscle. <laughs> so go and make your own specimens and record it. In the future, you will know how much you will drink. Believe in me, it's gonna help you a lot in your future project. 
Okay, I hope this video helps you to understand what is shrinkage. If you feel that it's helpful, please give me a like. And if you still have any questions or doubt, leave the comment below. I will go and check it. And yeah, I hope that you are gonna make your own specimen later on. Eh? And I will see you next time. Bye bye.